it's Monday. Monday, Monday. No, I won't do that again because you've already heard that one week. Um, okay, on the way to Run Club. And this week's video is all about motivation. Now, I posed the question to you on Sunday evening on Instagram. What do you do for motivation? What do you do to keep you motivated? And I'm telling you, some of the answers that I got were just phenomenal. So what I've done is I've gone and grouped them because um, a lot of them, you know, are, are kind of the same. They're getting at the same thing. So I grouped all of those together that were kind of getting at the same thing. And we are going to talk about each of them um, over the course of this week. And one of them that you so eloquently mentioned, and please forgive the horrible shade line in the middle of my face, um, was running with a group or running with a friend. And since I'm on the way to do just that, I thought it would be a good time to discuss uh, running with a group or running with friends. And if you don't have that near you, what that looks like virtually, because there's There they go. Okay, so if you do not have somebody that you um, run with or group that you run with, all hope is not lost. And here's why. These are some of my favorite groups on Facebook and Instagram who one of their favorite things to do is encourage people. And I'm gonna have those listed here on the screen. So if you don't have somebody who you can run with and that encourages you this is a great place to find some people like that and those of you that have experienced both you know there is something about being out with somebody and that expectation of hey these people are anticipating me being there and they're gonna ask if I'm not why I wasn't there there's something really motivating about that. And if you're anything like me, and I'm a people pleaser, you want to make all people all kinds of happy all the time. So you're gonna do your best to make people happy. And if that's by showing up, then so be it. There have been numerous runs where I have wanted nothing more than to stay home because I didn't feel good, I didn't feel it, or I just didn't want to go. And the only thing that got me out that door was knowing that this group was expecting me to be there. So, all right, I'm gonna start running because I'm losing the light. <laughs> and we know from last week's video how amazingly awful this camera does in low light. So, all right, I'll check in with you when the run's over. Bye! Okay, that run is done and felt so good. I maintained my intervals the whole time. I even ran through some of the rest breaks when I was feeling like really in the groove and in the rhythm. And it felt so good, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, this one felt really good. And I wanted to add a couple of things. I went back and watched the footage of the stuff that I had shot before the sun went down. Um, and I want you to know that even if you don't have a person, like a physical body person next to you running, that does not, that doesn't discount or discredit you from, you know, joining this running club if you will. Does that make sense? Meaning don't let that be the reason that you don't run. Um, find other people. Um, a great place to find a running group is a local running store. I know here in the Austin area, one of the big running stores is called Fleet Feet and they have running groups that go out of their stores every, you know, several days a week of all abilities and ages. 
So look into your local running shoe store and see if they have anything that kind of meets where you are. Another thing to do would be go to a um, like a local type place. Um, here we've got several tracks. Um, you know, Austin's a very outdoorsy place. We love for people to be outside. So find a place that maybe um, has a track and go start walking around the track and you may find that there are people out there and you may notice some of the same people out there when you go you know, every, every Monday or every Tuesday and strike up a friendship that way. But please, please, please don't let the fact that right now that you don't have somebody next to you or somebody that you can call to go running with you be the reason that you don't run. Um, just uh, from the bottom of my heart, please don't let that be the reason um, because you can do this and you have friends all over the world the internet think thank you internet and Instagram that want to cheer you on so like those those groups that were listed um, joyful miles um, the run princess family team run Disney is another one that's really great the insta run club on Instagram second star runners on Instagram there's several groups like that that make it their mission to encourage you. So I would challenge you to look into those groups to start using their hashtags on social media. And that way that signals to other members of the group to respond and, and notice. So um, again, finding that group, be it in person or online, is a massive motivator. And y'all prove that in your responses to the question. So I'm gonna head home and finish up what I have to do for the evening. My next training run is supposed to be on Thursday. It's another 30 minute training run and we will be talking about the next most popular form of motivation. Um, the votes are still coming in so I'm not quite sure what that'll be yet, but I have an idea, I'm just not gonna spoil it. So, all right, uh, I guess I will see you in the, through the magic of YouTube in like a second, but really in a couple of days. Okay, bye. Hey, happy Thursday. Um, today is chilly, so cold. Anyway, um, today on this quick 30 minute training run, we're going to talk about the second most um, utilized thing, I guess, for motivation that you all uh, responded, and it's YouTube videos. So, I'm gonna mention some of my favorite channels here. I'm sure a lot of you know a lot of them already, but I'm also gonna mention some of my favorite videos from those channels, okay? And um, shameless plug. In case you don't follow me on social media, you may have missed that, uh, see those? Yeah? I'm one of the new Aftershocks ambassadors and I'm so excited. Okay, let's get running. So first channel, I know this is gonna come as a massive surprise to every single one of you, is Gerald, Res Runs. Over the last year, he and I have gotten to become very close friends. I think you know that already. But to say that that makes me not appreciate what he does any less is an understatement. It makes me appreciate it more because hanging out with him, I understand just how the visual impairment affects him. What he has to go through with that visual impairment. And the fact that he can sit in front of a computer and edit those videos to the masterpieces that we all know and love is utterly amazing. So if you're not already subscribed to Gerald, I will link his, um, his channel above and go subscribe because, oh, you wanna kill some time on a treadmill? Turn on one of his race videos and you'll feel like you're there.
another newer channel and I've literally only subscribed to him for a week, maybe, is the channel Run Ryan Run. And he is training for Dopey 22. I believe he's done a Dopey before. But his camera work, holy moly. Dude has a drone. Like, you think running the GoPro's cool? Try running with the drone, okay? Um, anyway, so he lives in Colorado, I believe. And so some of the, one of the shots, he's like running in the snow, which better you than me. Um, and all you see around is just like snow. It's everywhere. And it's this great aerial shot. It's just really cool. Go check out his channel and um, maybe see if running in the snow is something that you would be up for. Cause I know I don't like snow. So you won't have to fight me over that. Next channel is, oh, my neck is cold. <laughs> That's not what it's called. <laughs> Metals and tiaras. My friend Jerrica runs that channel. First of all, just about the sweetest, sweetest little lady you'll ever, ever meet. And she runs in San Francisco. I featured her on my um, Inspirational Mile series. So I'll link all that above, but go check out her channel. She is phenomenal. She's a great motivator too, which, hello. We all need a good motivator, right? Next channel is Metals and Magic. It used to be Adventures, I'm a speed therapist. It used to be Adventures with Mitchie. Um, but she changed, kind of rebranded, changed her name. Metals and Magic is the new one. Um, Michelle is her name. And Michelle and I met on Instagram, I believe. No, it was YouTube. No, it was both. <laughs> and uh, kind of struck up a friendship training for Marathon Weekend last year. She ran the half and did a great job. And we just narrowly missed each other, like officially meeting. So then she puts out her half marathon video, which she thought she had lost the footage for, which been there. I know what those tears feel like, but she was able to recover it. And in that footage, you can see me. I'm in her video and she had no idea. So anyway, she is kind of like the rest of us, starting over and training for some big things. She's got more um, like lifestyle type stuff. Like she just did a closet rearrange, a refurb, and looks amazing by the way. You're more than welcome to come to Texas and redo mine, okay? But she's super encouraging. Um, it will never fail that I will get a message from her. In fact, it was yesterday I did. Just checking in to see how I'm feeling, how things are going. So super encouraging, very motivating. Definitely check out her channel. And as you can tell, I'm walking. I have my first long, long run long run meaning it takes more than one hand to count the number of miles i have to do coming up on saturday but i also have to work a shift on saturday at the hospital so i'm kind of saving my legs if you will so that i can successfully complete the week six long run which is six and a half miles and i think this is a good time to cut this one for now because since I will have a longer mileage run, that'll give me a longer time frame to talk to you about the remaining motivators because there's some really good ones. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm about a quarter mile from home and call it and work on my promo pictures for Aftershocks. I feel like I'm on Price is Right. And here, anyway 
Um, I'm supposed to be getting a link with a discount for y'all. So as soon as I know that, I will post it in my uh, links thing in the description box down below. But anyway, I'm wrapping this walk up because it's really cold and my nose is running. <laughs> Sniffle. Okay, I'll see y'all Saturday, bye. I almost forgot, it's the cold. Makes me not be able to think. How could I not mention, how could I not mention two of my best friends? Estrella, fairy tale runner, Belle, 898, Kimberly Estabrook. Go check out their channels. In fact, Kimberly and, and Mama just did Virtual Dopey. And if you want something motivating and inspiring, go watch their marathon video and watch them finish that thing. They had, I love the footage because all you see is their little flashlights on their phone, the little lights, and you see them like bouncing as they're running. And you hear people screaming like, go Kimberly. Oh my gosh, I was bawling, bawling. I know I'm forgetting people. And if I forget you, I'm sorry, it's the cold and it's my nose running. But I will link everybody that I think of between now and, you know, Saturday down in the comments. That's a lie in the description. See, it's affecting my brain. Good afternoon. It's Saturday and usually, you know, that you see me out on long runs on Saturday mornings, but I had to work this morning, spent some time on the COVID unit. So now I'm gonna go run all the COVID off. <laughs> I wish you could do that, but you can't. Um, so we are continuing the discussion around motivation and I figured I would use these six miles to talk about the last big topics that were reported back to me and the first one is buying new gear y'all said that was really motivating to buy new gear so we've already talked about in the last video what gear I have repurchased um, refreshed if you will and uh, but you know what there's a lot to be said about a new tank top or ladies finding like the best sports bra you've ever come across in your life because I have and it's called she fit so I'll link to their website below but it'll, it'll change your life anyway new running socks I went last night and got new running socks um, anything to keep you motivated because you don't want to buy something and then let it sit on the shelf so leave me some of your favorite repurchased, re-bought um, items that um, motivate you, be it shoes, socks, clothes, headphones. I got my code, by the way. That's down there, too. Okay, let's finish this warm-up and get... Y'all, I'm nervous. I haven't done six and a half since August. It's January. And it's also 78 degrees in January. So, hence the um, tank top and sparkle skirt. Let's go. I hope you can see that. Right there is a monarch. Oh, I hope you can see that. There's Mimi. I'm like a mile and a quarter in. That's the second Monarch sighting so far. So, I have a feeling all is well on this run. All will be well. Okay, let's keep going. The next highest motivational thing that y'all told me, and I 100% agree with it, is having a goal race. So for a lot of us, I know that's a Disney race, and that's hard right now because we don't know when the next one will be. Fingers crossed, Marathon Weekend 22. But if you can find a smaller local race, a lot of those are happening. Bluebell, for example, it's happening, I say locally, it's about an hour and 
20-ish away. Um, and that's happening. They're doing that. They're doing it at a reduced capacity. It's a very well-run race for being a local. So I have no doubt that that's gonna be a great success. But even if you can't find a local one, get with some of your running internet friends and plan on running a virtual on the same day. You may remember back in August, myself, Estrella, Sarah, and a couple of others ran the Seawees Half Marathon together. We started at the same time. Sarah's way up in Canada, but we started at the same time and ran it together. And even though we weren't like by each other, it was kind of like we were, because we were sending each other encouragement and motivation through messages. But get something on the calendar and use that as motivation. I live and breathe by a checklist and crossing off stuff. So maybe get a calendar, like a separate one. Get your race put on that calendar and cross off each day as you make it through it. So finding a race, finding something to put on the calendar is super motivating. More than halfway. My legs are starting to feel a little, a little brickish, but that's okay. I'm not out to break speed records today, kids. I'm just out for the miles. So we continue on and it's hot. The next motivator that I want to talk about is really, actually this one and the last one, very important to me. And they are kind of tied together, but not everybody's going to have the second one, but you for sure have the first one, if that makes sense. And that is to remember your why. Why did you start this? Why did you choose to buy your first pair of running shoes and walk out your front door? Why? Remember your why. Did you do it to change your life like I did? Did you do it to get more friends, which I have gotten through this? Did you do it to pick up a new hobby? Did you do it because you wanted to run? You wanted to run in Disney World and not get in trouble for it? Remember your why. All right, I'm gonna finish up this run and then we're gonna sit, you and me, and talk about the last one because it deserves to be highlighted and given its appropriate attention, not with an overpass going over it. I'm almost there. Four miles in, two and a half to go. Um, I'll see you at the end. A fifth of a mile. No. I'm at point four six. Boom. Did it. Me leaning against my car. Oh my gosh. Catch your breath. Six and a half. I should six and a half. I haven't done six and a half since August. And I didn't die. I call that a great success. A great motivational success. Man. Okay, I have recovered. Kind of. Um, okay, this last one, I really, it didn't receive the most votes. The most votes was um, running with friends and a group and whatnot, and that's fine. Um, and that one means a lot to me, but I think this one means the most. And it is remembering where you came from, remembering where you started, and using that as motivation to not go back there. Um, because when I started this, I looked something like this. And I was, um, if you believe it or not, more quick-witted and funny then 
um, because I felt like I had to be, because I felt like if I could make people laugh, um, they wouldn't laugh at me. And when I catch myself wanting to fall back into bad habits and, you know, the way that things were, I go back and I look at that picture. And I remember how hard I worked to get to this point. Were those six and a half miles the fastest I've ever run? No. Were they the slowest? I don't know, maybe. But if you were to tell the person three, almost four years ago, that she was gonna go throw down six and a half miles on a Saturday afternoon, she would have looked at you and said you were crazy. So if that's what it takes to motivate you, like if, like for me, it was the, it started out as a weight loss thing. It really, truly did. And I quickly learned if you're gonna marathon train, you're not gonna lose weight. <laughs> if you're gonna hardcore um, half marathon train, you're not gonna lose all that much weight because you're building muscle. Another good example of this um, on Instagram, his handle is uh, Prof, like Professor Prof Beckman. Um, he's a fellow Disney runner who has a similar weight loss story, and he was the one of the ones that responded with this, to never go back to the person I was before I started. And that resonates with me like you would not believe. So think about who you were before you started running. Do you wanna go back there? Do you wanna go back to that person who maybe dreaded getting out of bed. I don't I don't know your story, but you do. Do you wanna go back there? And if you do, that's fine, that, to each his own, to each his own, but I don't. I don't wanna go back there. And so on the days when I think that I can't do it, you know, driving here, um, the last time I was this nervous about a run was marathon morning. Think about that. Marathon, 26.2, today, 6.5. I was just as nervous today as I was that morning. But you know what kept me going and kept me coming out here? I can't afford to go back to the person I was before I started. So think about all these things and maybe make a list of what motivates you and really um, rely on that, pull from that, and see if that doesn't help you in these unprecedented times. I swear if I hear unprecedented times one more time, I don't know what I'll do, but you know. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it for me this week. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing next week, so you'll just have to tune in and find out. <laughs>